hello and welcome back guys to our channel so on our previous video i already showed you on how to install sql server 2019 and i already showed you on how to set up and configure ssrs 2019 and i already showed you how to create a simple ssrs report using report builder so now i'm going to show you on how to use ssrs or show an SSRS report into a MBC project just like this one so the main objective of this tutorial is to show you on how to display an SSRS report into a ASP.NET MBC project so first we need to create a new MBC project so we are going to use a ASP.NET 5 so I will now open my Visual Studio 2013 okay let's create new project so click, click web ASP.NET and then click OK then click MBC and then click OK so basically that is how to create a new ASP.NET MBC project so in this tutorial we will not focus on the MBC project so we'll just focus on how to display the SSRS report on an MBC project so I expect that you have a basic understanding on how the ASP.NET MBC project works and what are the contents and how to make a controller how to make views so basically that is the thing that we need to do here so but first we need to add a new reference which is a report MBC viewer so we need to click tools nuget nuget package solution so we need to search report viewer for MBC so we need to click the first one and just click install click OK then click I accept so it will download all the resources needed for the report viewer for MBC so click close then click close so let's try to run just to make sure that our application is still working okay so we have some error I think it added some additional extra so it added 11 and 14 so we just need to remove this 11 and same with this one click save stop debugging and then try to run again so we should be able to see the default page for a MBC project so this is the default page so I think our project is working correctly so now let's start working on showing our SSRS report on our MBC project so we need to stop running so let's just create a new controller so let's just empty controller click add click reports controller add. okay so we also need to create a view for that so just right click here view add view okay so inside the view CSHTML, so we need to add some code. So let's delete this code. So using view bag report.
teleport you around okay so what we're just doing here is we are expecting our controller to pass a view bug with the value of uh, with the variable of report viewer so if this one is not null so we'll use the at html report viewer which is basically this one to display our report on our view okay so now let's work on the code for the controller so basically we need to use this so to create a report viewer So another thing we need to modify the web config so that we can create a variable for the SSRS URL. So we need to add something here in the app settings. So this is it. So we have the variable app setting of SSRS report URLs. Then we will put the uh, SSRS 2019 report server here. So, which is this one, okay? So, which is coming from this one, okay? So, let's proceed in our code. Save this one and go to the controller. Then, viewer, processing mode, processing mode remote viewer size report content is equal to viewer async rendering is equal to true viewer report server report Port server URL as new URI SSRS URL. So we need to create a variable for this string to get the settings from here. We need to this code to read from the configuration manager. Other app settings and report URL. Okay, click save. So, last one is we will add the report viewer point server report report path. So, we need to add here the report name. So, our report is test report one test report one and then now we need to pass this viewer to a view bug which is the one expected by our view this one just copy this one no need to type goes to viewer okay so basically that's all the code that we need so let's try to execute so by default it will load the home page let's see if it work, works correctly okay so the home page is working so we need to access our report controller so just click enter oh, test report one is not valid Test report 1 260 character. Oh, okay, so I missed something here. So this is a path, so we need to have a slash here. Let's try to run again. 
so let's just refresh this one hopefully it will load now so it is loading so now we have successfully loaded our SSRS report into our ASP.NET MVC project so here we have here the toolbars and then the view control so we can click next page next page next page so we can also have a refresh and we have here we can change the view and we can also download the a copy of the report in word excel powerpoint pdf and data feed and from here we can also print it directly you can see we can print it from here so that's it for this tutorial so this one is just the basic tutorial so maybe on our next video i can show you a more advanced on how to show an SSRS report so because on this one we didn't pass any parameters so basically it will not filter our report this is just something like a static report so in case if we want to filter it by name by card number so we can do it by passing a parameter so we'll just do it in the next video so hopefully you learn something from this video and hopefully I can see you in the next one and once again, hope you click like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Bye.